Hi everyone, I'm Deb. Before I get into today's tutorial, I want to urge everyone to vote in November or register to vote if you haven't already. Here's me holding mine and my husband's absentee ballots for the New York State primary. While we were filling these out, my husband said to me, isn't it funny that a poll worker and a stripper are two very different things? Look, if we want to see change, we have to rock the vote. And that's one to grow on. The last few weeks have been really hard, but I feel like the country is coming together to unite against a common enemy. Leah Michelle. Speaking of nouns, today I'm going to show you how to make this little pillow. Some people buy a pillow form and then they make the pillowcase cover around it, which I did here. Look how this fabric has faded over six years time. I'm not gonna use a pillow form. I'm gonna stuff it with this uh, fiber fill. You just pull it and stuff it into the pillow or eat it. Tastes magazine-y. For the bolster pillow, I added this zipper so I could take it out and wash it, but I'm not gonna do that with this pillow. Let's face it, I'm disgusting. I'm never gonna wash it. I'm not gonna clean it. Why bother? I'll tell you what I am gonna clean. Are my glasses. How they get so dirty, I do not understand. What is happening? And what are glasses anyway? Some guy just decided we're gonna hook these onto the backs of our ears and rest them on our nose and we all fell for it? Okay, onto more important things like bias binding. Let's go. This is quilting fabric. When I pull across the grain, there's a little bit of stretch. If I pull up and down across the left side, the selvage, there's no stretch. Now I'm gonna pull at a 45 degree angle and here's the most stretch. I'm gonna cut on this 45 degree angle, making a bias cut diagonally across the grain. I'm gonna cut two strips at two inches each and then join them by sewing where they overlap here at one quarter inch across. When I open this up after I've sewn this edge, it's one long strip, like Vegas. When I fold it in half with my rope inside, that will give me about an inch of fabric to sew onto the pillow edge. I could make it smaller, but why give myself a hard time? That's what my husband is for. Kidding, he's great. And I'm not just saying that because we live in a New York City apartment and he could hear everything I say. I put the rope in the center of the bias strip and sew it close to the rope. I start and end this a few inches from an edge which will make it easier for us to join them when we sew the piping onto the pillow. Since we aren't using a pillow form, we can cut these pillows to any size we like. These happen to be 14 inches by 14 inches. I'm making a mark four inches in from each corner and then another mark at a half inch in at each corner. I connect these points and trim off this excess. It will make the corners of the pillows look really nice. You can use a rotary cutter or just use your scissors. Now we're ready to add the piping. I line up this piping with the fabric, right sides together on one side of the pillow edge and sew close to the piping. At each corner, I make a little snip so the piping turns easier. When I get close to where the piping will meet up, I finagle the rope and fabric around each other and sew it closed. Now I lay the other half of my pillow on top, right sides together. I begin to stitch these three layers together very close to the piping starting away from a corner, again, so I don't have to end on a corner. 
I'm going to leave a three inch space open so I can stuff it with my fiber fill and then I will top stitch that edge closed. But first, I had a really large seam allowance, so I'm gonna trim around my fabric. Now it's time to turn the pillow right side out, pushing at the corners from the inside. This is where I'll stitch it closed when I'm done stuffing it. Remember when that was an insult? Why don't you go stuff it? That was a saying, right? I'm not just making that up, right? Anyway, you could put as much filling in as seems right to you. I'm gonna sew this closed on the sewing machine, but you can hand sew it too. Mmm, squishy. Okay, that was super easy, right? You know what isn't easy? Having a secret second family. I mean, how do men do it? I hate to be sexist, but it's always men, right? I mean. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, write them down below and I will answer them. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you made the pillow. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, or don't stay home. I feel like I am the only one staying home. Wait, am I home because my husband doesn't want me to run into his secret second family? Am I the only one home? If everybody else is out and about and you see me making this video, Come save me. In all seriousness, things hopefully are changing for the better. I mean, I don't know who's gonna hire Leah Michelle again.